The mother whose baby is missing remains at the center of a growing investigation. Elizabeth Johnson was extradited from Florida and now sits in jail in Phoenix, Arizona. Early show national correspondent Hattie Kaufman has more on the desperate search for the young boy. Elizabeth Johnson faces three felony charges. Her bond is set at $1.1 million. And authorities still don't know whether baby Gabriel is alive or dead. I can't even imagine Elizabeth hurting that child. Elizabeth's grandfather, Bob Johnson, is offering new details about the 23-year-old. He says it was her plan to have the baby adopted, and she may have done it online. She gets on that Craigslist. That gal could find somebody that would want to adopt the baby in five minutes. He says Elizabeth was overwhelmed by motherhood. She became easily enraged and often physically destructive. As a child, she was abandoned by abusive parents and raised in foster care. She could not give the child the type of life that he deserved. To bring him back. The baby's father, Logan McQuarrie, desperately wants his son back. Elizabeth sent him a text message saying she had killed Gabriel. Later, she claimed she gave him away to strangers in Texas. I really have a hard time thinking she just randomly gave Gabriel, the little prince, to somebody in a park. But she already promised the baby to another couple. Jack and Tammy Smith met her in an airport seven months ago, and in early December, they took Gabriel into their home with hopes of adopting him. Police have named the Smiths persons of interest in the case. Hattie Kaufman, CBS News, Los Angeles.